I've talked to them recently. I talked to them on the Tag Team Top 50 show. And um, both Iggy and Carrie um, have really pointed to a um, film like 2014 was their best year. But it kind of, towards the second half of 2014, they lost focus in a way. Well, before the show, I talked to them. And they're feeling like this is their opportunity right now to get back on the map. A win over zero gravity will do that for them. But can they do that? Not an easy win by any means. No, that is definitely not an easy task. Zero gravity, the very first Proving Ground Pro Tag Team Champions. Zero gravity, one of the greatest high-flying teams in the Midwest. Zero gravity is a real deal in this business. now. Like you said, 2014 was huge for Team IOU. It, they have been huge in the proving ground. They've had some great wins here. Nick Eakey, Kerry Awful, a boy and his dog. What a fantastic, unique, and amazing team. But, man, I think we have got something really special tonight with them versus Zero Gravity. You know, the teams that Team IOU beat in 2014, the who's who of indie wrestling, the hooligans, um, they beat a lot of teams in Tennessee, but, you know, they were not able to come up with a win over Zero, zero Gravity last show in a three-way. This is their opportunity now to write that, what they feel was a wrong last show, two on two. No, no third team here. This is their chance, and this is their chance to start off 2015 the right way. And we're a couple months out from a tournament that's going to declare the PGP Tag Team Champions, so uh, a big win here could certainly put you in a position to be a prime contender for that become March of 2015. You want to go into something like that with a lot of momentum? Uh, Bob Blake Steele didn't go into this tournament with a ton of momentum. He had a lot of momentum from starting out well in this tournament. But these two teams really want to go into that tournament looking like, you know what? We're the team to beat. And this is their chance right now. And, you know, this is a toss-up. I, I was kind of making my picks before the uh, show. And I was really torn as to who to go with here. And to be honest with you, I still don't feel good about who I picked because I think it can go either way. Absolutely. I think this is a 50-50 right down the middle, Travis. So it may be more bad luck than skill that determines the uh, winner in this match. So one mistake, one screw up, one um, big move from somebody else. You almost saw it with Lewis Linden and Blake Steele earlier. Yeah. But it just takes one thing. Both these teams are extremely skilled, extremely well-versed in the art of tag team wrestling. Absolutely, either team could take this victory. So really, it's not, I, honestly, it comes down to avoiding a mistake more than delivering a big move, I feel like. Oh, absolutely. And, you know, both of these teams have a lot to prove, no pun intended with the proving ground. Because, all right, so you got a lot of teams that are getting mentioned on the Indies. And while these teams have definitely warranted mentions and gathered mentions, they're not, like, thought of as the top one, two, or three in the tag team on the Indies. But they team consistently. They don't do singles. And very few teams are like that on the Indies anymore. Yeah, these are true tag teams. Yeah. There's no, no two, two ways about that. It's a lot different than the match we had earlier. This is two evenly matched teams who are teams, cohesive teams at that. Yes, the one of them's not a thrown together. We hope we can tag and do do some good single stuff to pull out a win. These are yeah. guys, as you say, well skilled and schooled in the art of tag team wrestling. I mean, you got a team out of Tennessee. Um, there's something that comes with the team out of Tennessee from the start. Tennessee, there's um, a lot of people, a lot of wrestlers that come in out of Tennessee don't feel like they get the respect they, they deserve because they don't get to travel outside of Tennessee very often. Then you got a team from the Midwest, the Illinois area, the, a little bit of the Indianas, Missouri mixed in um, from Zero Gravity that they're like, oh, not the main nice draw. move from Guy Brett Gahia yeah. yeah, up and He's over. So fast. He's a lot quicker than Carry Off. Oh, right and now. a nice kip up, and look at Guy Kia go to town on Carry Off, but oh, Carry Off dips his shoulder. Thought he was gonna. Oh, nice oh. move from Zero Gravity. Carry Off was in deep trouble in the early going here. Oh, and this is what we're talking about with cohesive tag teams 
you, you get that. that. You weren't getting that with the uh, makeshift team earlier. Now no. we've got the evenly matched oh, team Oh, they here. pitched Nick Iggy right out after Kerry Awful, and Zero Gravity has really taken charge. Two crowd favorites at that. Oh, the suicide dive after a fake out. Something tells me that's not it. That is not it because there is still a traffic jam down there and a man in the ring. There's a reason why they call him Zero Gravity, you know. Absolutely. The high flyers of the Midwest, and they are taking it. I'll tell you what, Dutch Mantell was never able to show Carrie Awful and Nick Iggy a lot of these moves. <laughs> no, it's kind of hard to uh, to get that when you don't see it that often. Um, but, you know, again, Team IOU have wrestled some of the best for sure. But so has Zero Gravity. And Zero Gravity's beaten some of the best. They've beaten some of the same teams. They've both beaten the Who against former PGP Tag Team Champions. So they've got that going for them. Oh, and they cut off the tag. Nice move by Kerry Awful to cut that tag the off. Of the tag team for sure. Um, the dog of the boy and the dog combination here. And this is it really in. a time for for Team IOU to ground Zero Gravity, take oh. it to the mat. They really could use some quality mat work here. Size advantage goes to Team IOU. Experience advantage probably as a team goes to Zero Gravity, slightly. Um, I don't know, the traveling, they've both done it, so it, it's so evenly matched. I mean, this is a flip a coin match right now. All it takes, like you said earlier, was one mistake, one move, one thing to really change this match. Oh, nice scoop and slam from Nick Iggy. And he is all over Brett Gaikia with a nice, oh, and I, nice two count, I thought maybe, but uh, a little early. I don't think IOU collectively is used to having a, such a size advantage, but zero gravity, they're so small and quick like a hiccup that uh, a big size advantage for IOU, but they're making the most of it. Yes, uh, Zero Gravity's never been in a match where they had a size advantage. Yeah, I, I don't but think... But they've never been in a match where they didn't have a speed and agility. Yeah, advantage. I don't know any team, any team, even the, the tops on the indies that are faster than them. They're unbelievably quick, unbelievably skilled, and right now they're going to take oh, it to him. Nice... Oh, and his dog, but he's fighting back. A guy here, look, fight. Oh, oh, what a huge oh. forearm from Carry Awful. Awful talked about trying to, um, you know, go a little bit more strong style in 2015, and he showed it right there. Nice chops to the throat. Tags in a Daisy Fresh Nick Iggy, who's distracted by CJ. The Esparza, magic but man with a, another senton. Iggy pulling out a new uh, trick from his bag. Nice. Iggy thought he had him there. Well, he uh, Iggy's got to right slow back down the pace. And, uh, Probably a smart decision. Keep I, zero gravity grounded. Why not? Why I mean, not? You don't want to try to outfly these guys. You don't want to try to outquick them. You just want to keep them out of the air. Just pluck them out of the sky the best you can. Yes, I think it's a good game plan from IOU. Not guys you generally think of as game planners. Right. But uh, look, their their success speaks for itself. Obviously, there must be something going on there. And a nice snap bear out of the corner from carry off of Brick Ikea is in some serious trouble here. He is, and they're keeping him in their corner. A classic tag team wrestling from Team IOU. One of the best tag teams on the indies. I mean, I'll say it right here, right now, but Zero Gravity is as well. I can't say enough good things about these teams, but right now they're keeping him in the corner, and it's not become a tag team match. Right now it's a handicap match. And that is some fantastic uh, game planning from IOU to uh, oh, keep the man all oh, but a nice escape from Guy Kean. He really needs to get to his partner Now's as far as chance. Carrie might have caught him. Oh, oh my God, that was very inventive. They've got IOU in trouble right now. Can he Now's find the, the tag? Trying to get the crowd behind him. Both teams are very popular with the audience, but right now they're behind zero gravity. He oh, makes and a tag. nice tag from Guy Kidd. Here comes CJ Esparza in, and he's all over Magic Man. Nick DT. Oh, my God. It's been a staple of the night. Oh, look Back at elbow. that big elbow. Flying el leg lariat. Drop kick to the chest. I mean, Kerry goes down. CJ Esparza, an absolute house oh, of fire what do you right call now. That move? I don't know that I can. Some and kind of spinning screw. I don't even know, but by Iggy God. 
Oh, but look at Nick Iggy finding himself an opening. It's a very weird position for Oh, Robin. nice oh. from Nick Iggy to slow down CJ. That could this do could it. be it. Two. Wow, Wendt and Esparza right on they his head. They have come to Litchfield to fight, and that is what they're doing. But zero gravity will not give up. Size be damned, like they always are. They're at a disadvantage, but not in skill or heart. Oh, what a oh, shot. Oh, nice shot from Iggy. Coming back in for some more, but sidestep by Esparza. And a shot from Iggy again. Iggy may find himself in trouble look right now. Look at that. He's Iggy went no for the shoulder land. and missed. And what look, a doing? double team move from Gerald Gravity. Oh! Nice stuff. Iggy may be concussed after something like that. One, two. I don't know how he, he got out. his shoulder up from that. You know, we said that a million times tonight. I don't know how he kicked out. I mean, I mean the it's heart incredible. and determination it takes in that ring, Travis, I can't even imagine. It's truly incredible. I mean, the heart. Of these oh, no water, no, nobody, in the pool. no water in the pool. Exactly. Carry oh, huge right lariat. What a clothesline. Is this their chance? IOU looking to pick up the win. Well, it's a two on one situation right now. And Carrie Awful's definitely in the driver's seat. They need to seat. hurry, though. They were only two on one for so long if they're not careful. A, a big shoulder block. Iggy's trying to shout out instructions to carry a solid shot from carry. They're they looking for a double team. team move. I don't know what it is. Oh, but there's what it is. Oh, I have never seen a that. A drop before. kick that into amazing. a what was that? Some kind of tiger driver, Michinoku driver? I don't even know. It was it was um, kind of hard to watch that cover. It was ginger. It was almost like he was unable to get the cover on him. Solid because the referee was kind of pinned in there. It was kind of geography like you talked about earlier. Meanwhile, Esparza looking for a tag, but Gaikia is out on the floor and unable to help. But there's the blind tag. Uh -oh. Did Pemberton One see it? Jump. Up to the top. Oh, yes, I did. Yes, I did. But I, I, the question is, did the ref? That's what I I'm asking. Oh, oh, what a power bomb. Oh, what a oh, move from Buster from the top. Usually you see it from the middle. Oh, my God. Spear from him. And Andrew. all four men are oh, right out. Oh, my God. I think this crowd is worn out from this tournament. And right now, they're just on the edge of their seats trying to figure out who's going to win this thing. Uh, both teams crowd favorites, like I said, right they now. They don't know really who to boo and who to cheer. They're just slack jawed in amazement. There it is. Crowd starting to get alive here. Carrie misses oh, a punch. And a gets solid shots. Bigger man, though. Oh, as you see, my as you see, God, what a forearm. Carrie challenging the smaller man. I mean, he's taking shots now. Misses with a oh, punch. Oh, and a soup bone. Big old punch right to the face. Carrie trying to shake it off over there. Zero gravity bringing the A game tonight. What an arm drag into the corner. And a knee. And a big lariat into the boot. Zero gravity is in serious trouble here. This is tag team wrestling, folks. This is tag team wrestling. On oh, I owe you. What do we got here? They're trying. Oh, oh my God. Look out. Oh, wait a minute. Esparza cut it off. Nick Eagy doesn't realize what's going on, and he takes a super kick to the face. Cover. cover. And I, look, thought it was I thought it was over. Carey could not break it Absolutely up there. Absolutely tied up in the ropes. There was nothing he could do. Awful challenging, Awful challenging the smaller men here. No respect. Double super kick. Seen that a little bit. Wow. Wow. It tied up in the ropes. Carrie Awful is in some serious trouble here. Oh, Carrie's my God. Team IOU is in trouble, but look at Nick Iggy. He's still got plenty Iggy of with fight the house in of fire. Uh, better look out here. Iggy, again, the more powerful of the two. Oh, and nice. The back of the head right across the turnbuckle. Unforgiving. Unforgiving. Got Kia in trouble, and now he is zeroing in on Esparza. 
Iggy's oh, but a double T from so. Zero Gravity. Nick Iggy's in trouble, too. Again, we're back to the handicap match concept. That's what you got to do. You got to kind of double team your opponent. Nice Whoa. double team maneuver. And that's a three Take count. It. Zero Gravity with a huge win here in the perfect round. What a win for Zero Gravity. Wow, Travis Desmond, what wow. a tag team encounter. Unbelievable. Excuse my applause on the commentary here, but both teams deserve it. Great effort on the part of both teams. The IOU comes up on the losing end, but they've shown they're still a force to be reckoned Nobody with. wants to and lose, but there was no shame in losing that match. Absolutely not. Zero Gravity brought it. They were just one step ahead of them at the very end. It was anybody's game. And there's like some we said. hard feelings in oh, there. Oh, Gary, I thought they were going to show some respect, hard but feel. no. Wait, wait, whoa, whoa. Carry awful. Good job. Fair enough. Begrudgingly. They don't. There's been a lot of good sportsmanship despite the behavior by Ethan Page earlier. Um, hopefully that doesn't mar the entire show. Some great sportsmanship. Two of the best tag teams on the Indies. I think 2015 is going to be bright for both of them. And tag team tournament coming up. They've got a chance for redemption, IOU. Zero Gravity has a chance to build oh, on this Zero victory. Zero Gravity is apparently going to come into that rank very high in the brackets. And uh, I don't see IOU not making it into the brackets. Those guys uh, had a hell of a showing. I, we could very well see these two teams meet once again with a title on the line.